Ching Tonga. Yeah, oh yeah, I know who you are. That guy was a nice guy, man. He he never I never had never heard him. Who else do you him. think that was, was one of the toughest? I, I didn't think none of them was tough. Mm -hmm. I didn't uh, Tonga. I know who you're talking about now. Uh, King Tonga. Mm -hmm. They call him King Tonga. He was supposed to be pretty tough, but you know he never showed him in the dressing room. He never showed him. I heard stories about him out beating you know three or four guys, ripped the guy's ears off. Yeah, and, and all that. You know that's not hard to do. You rip a guy's ear off, grab his ear, and rip it off, <laughs> bite it off, bite his nose off. You know they know you're gonna bite his nose off when you get him down. All right. You know he'll probably back up from you. <laughs> I'm not saying that I could beat him. I'm not saying that I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't back down from him, but I wouldn't put myself in a position to have to back down from him because I know what kind of reputation he's got. He's, but he's a nice guy. You, you, you wouldn't. You would never get in that position with him if you weren't a piece of garbage yourself. You know what I mean? Right. And that's what I'm saying. These these guys that are tough, man. They they got these reputations of being tough. The only way they got them reputations is beating the hell out of people that needed to get the beat the hell beat out of. What's your opinion on like the road warriors when they came in in the eighties? Everybody thought they were the biggest and baddest. Well, they they looked good. They they put on a good show, mm -hmm. and they did think they were the biggest and baddest. And you know, hawking animal, they was always like super nice to the guys. You know, you never think, you know, when you're when you're with these guys, they got a performance to put on out there, right? And people outside see this. You don't see them back there in the dressing room. Right. You don't see them at home with their family or whatever. You know. And they have to put on a show. And when they put on a show that's so good that people believe they're the biggest and baddest to ever come in, they're doing a good job. <laughs> you know, and they're nice guys. They're just regular guys, nice guys. But yes, they got to go out and perform. And, you know, come on, look at some of the stars you see on there. Like Bruce Willis. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Okay, Rocky. You know, <laughs> and people believe this because, right. you know, <coughs> These guys couldn't tie my boots. <laughs> you know, they probably couldn't reach my chin to hit me. They're so short, they're so small, you know. And yet they're making billions of dollars. I mean, Bruce Willis, every time you turn around, he's on two or three different shows. <laughs> and this guy, you know, he, he's pathetic. A good actor. That's what he does. Do you watch the uh, wrestling business at all anymore? No. No. Okay. So. I don't, I don't get, I just, if it's accidentally on, uh, I watch it for a minute. I seen the one where Vince had somebody to kiss his ass. Yeah, something. that was pathetic. I turned it off. I said that has got to be the, the as low as you can go. How can you go any lower? Pathetic. 